New at 5.30, alarming levels of PFAS chemicals found in the Huron River. The Department of Environmental Quality has traced it back to a business in Wixom. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson live at the manufacturing plant believed to be a big part of the problem. Jennifer. Yeah, well, the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality took multiple samples throughout the area in order to identify the source of those 5,500 parts per billion of PFAS. That's, if you're wondering, the state allows 12 parts per billion. So it's an alarming number, and they have traced it to Tribar, also known as ADEPT. It's a precious natural resource in the Great Lakes state, and along the Huron River, water comes with a warning. Do not eat the fish. The advisory stretches along the Huron River from North Wixom Road all the way to Lake Erie in Monroe and Wayne counties and the many bodies of water the river feeds, all because of high levels of chemicals called PFAFs contaminating the water. The chemicals do have a reputation for being persistent. MDEQ traced the pollution to the city of Wixom, then to Tribar, a manufacturer of chrome auto parts. And these chemicals are part of the process, and once that's done, uh, it ends up in wastewater discharge that they then send to the city of Wixom. Again, there was no testing required right. by ADEPT or TRIBAR or by the city. The company is believed to be a significant contributor to the 5,500 parts per trillion of PFAFs found in Norton Creek, more than 450 times what's allowed in the surface water. Now that the city is aware of the problem, they've issued an administrative control order. We're asking that they uh, have weekly sampling um, so that we can keep track of what's happening with their discharges. Um, we're requiring that they identify how this has come about. They're taking it very seriously, uh, being very aggressive about it. Both the state and the city are searching for other potential sources. We have not identified anyone else so far in the city of Wixom. Now, I did stop by the offices. No one was available to talk, and no one returned my calls to discuss this either. But the city manager of Wixom says that somebody from Tribar told him they haven't actually used these chemicals in their manufacturing for three years. They're not really sure how they've become the source of so many of these chemicals being released into the water. That's something they're trying to figure out as I speak. Jennifer, in the meantime, uh are they doing anything to stop the pollution other than, again, using uh, some of those chemicals in their processes? Well, the Department of Environmental Quality says that they are right now talking with consultants and installing a filtration system of sorts right here at the building at their facility so that those chemicals won't be released out with the water. And what they'll do with all the chemicals this filtration system captures, uh, I'm not quite sure yet. Yeah, well, hopefully the company will be responding and uh, discussing that as well. Appreciate the live report. Jennifer Ann Wilson reporting live. West